I'd like to welcome you to the Kirk Chapel at um, St. George's Anglican Church in Guelph, Ontario. I'm the Reverend Canon Rafe Blackman. I serve as the rector here. Today with me for this short service of um, marking the first anniversary of the global coronavirus pandemic declaration, I have one of our wardens, Ronnie Barkey, with us and um, Laura Keller, who's doing the videography. So we gather on an auspicious day, on an auspicious, at an auspicious moment, to mark that one year when WHO declared the coronavirus pandemic in the world. And the theme for this rite is Jesus wept. We are filled with sorrow for what's happened and all sorts of confusion and many different feelings and things that we've had in this year, but also an awful lot of hopefulness with vaccines and things that are rolling out. But we're also aware that in the history of vaccinations, we've only had one disease eradicated and that's smallpox that affected humans. So we know there's much prayer to come and much patience, but we do see the love of God in this. So this short rite, which will have three minutes of silence in the middle of it as we reflect on all of those affected, all those hurt and all the transitions of our lives, is called Jesus Wept, a rite to mark the first anniversary of the Global Coronas Pandemic Declaration. Mary came where Jesus was and saw him. Kneeling at his feet, she said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. Disturbed by her weeping and by the grief of those who came with her, Jesus was troubled in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see, Jesus wept. Out of the depths we cry to you, O God. Turn your ear to the voice of our supplication. With yearning hearts, we wait for you, trusting in your promises. We, we wait and, and we hope, hope more, more than, than a century waits for the morning light. For you, O oh God, are our strength and hope. Steadfast is your love and your power to set free beyond measure. Today, we mark the first anniversary of the declaration of the COVID-19 pandemic by the World Health Organization. Over the past year, many have suffered pain and loss, and all of us have faced hardship or disruption. Yet we also have experienced God's presence in new and meaningful ways, witnessing the resiliency of God's people when we trust in this presence. Therefore, our testimony is that in the midst of darkness, uncertainty, and fear, we are not alone. As we look back on both the tragedies and blessings of the past year, we call to mind the story of Jesus visiting the grave of his beloved friend Lazarus. Through Lazarus had been, though Lazarus had been laid to rest for a period of four days, and death seemed to have the final word, Jesus commanded the stone sealing the tomb to be rolled away. He called forth Lazarus into life and exhorted the people to unbind the once dead man from his grave clothes and set him free. However, we also recall that Jesus was moved in his deepest being and wept at the grave of his friend. As we mark this day, we weep with those who mourn and suffer and serve yet we also look forward in confidence 
trusting God's power to heal and deliver the creation he called into life and continue to love. Let us pray. God of tender and fierce consolation, your anointed one wept at the grave of his beloved friend Lazarus. Cry us into love again. Break open our hearts to all who are vulnerable and alone, to ourselves in your glorious finitude, and to you, the source of all being. So we may face sickness and fear, despair and death, with hope in the resurrection, and faith in the one who calls forth life from death. Jesus Christ, our Comforter, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, All you who are struggling or carrying heavy burdens, come to me, Come and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble of heart. Come to me and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light.
Let us join our voices with the one who is gentle and humble, lifting our hearts to God, praying, Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For the sick and suffering, particularly those afflicted by the COVID-19 virus, that God will bring them to wholeness and restore them to those who love them. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For all who care for patients and their loved ones, that God will give them strength for their service and wisdom to seek help when they are in need. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For the fragile elderly, those struggling with fear, people vulnerable in health, and all enduring isolation in this time of pandemic, that they may know the warm embrace of God's compassion, let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For decision makers at all levels of government and community health care, that they will be gifted with wisdom and courage for the well-being of those whom they are called to serve, let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For all those who have died, and for mourners who must grieve their loss apart from loved ones, that the time will come when we may gather once again to say Alleluia over the graves of our beloved. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For whom or whatever else we pray this day, let us take a moment of silence and lift our prayers, our thoughts, our hopes, our dreams before our God. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. Amen. God of grace and compassion, you shoulder our burdens and ease our heavy hearts as we mark the first anniversary of the declaration of the pandemic by the World Health Organization. Be comfort for those who grieve, strength for those who falter, and eternal rest for those who have died. Buttress our hearts and wills, spark our imaginations, and kindle hope in our depths, that we may trust, follow, and love you for our well-being and the sake of the world. This we ask in the name of Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our cares into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May you know God's hope peace and blessing as we depart from this time. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.